Okay guys, um, right this is the uh, demonstration bit. So this is my Acer Aspire, it's not turned on yet. And there's my big monitor, it's a 32 inch uh, 1080p. Um, I, I, I want to do this just so you can see it's actually doing it, but I'm having trouble with this. So, uh, I'll turn this on, okay, and we can see it power up from here. I want people to believe all this, right? Um, the TV's not coming on yet, but... Right, so, uh, oh, here comes it. Yeah, the, the TV takes a little bit longer than the um, than the netbook. Um, but that's just my TV. It just takes a little while to switch on. So you, you can see me here, right? Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to select Intel GMA, okay? And then I'm going to switch over to the TV. So you can see I've highlighted it there. Okay, right, so just trust me on this. Now, the, the, the netbook's going to go blank. Okay, it's going to show a bit, and then it's going to go blank, right? And then it comes up on here, right? I'll just put this onto onto the stand. Do you like the logo? Thanks, Anthony. It was my mate Anthony Jordan did that for me. He spent ages did the um, lovely little logo. Well, not all he did the bottom the the Amiga tech, sorry, um, and the, we've taken the logo, right? Okay, now um, this is running in 1920 by. 1080p now just to show you that I'm going to open it up now of course it's going to be difficult for you to see this because of course um, you're not going to see because the, the resolution of the video is a lot lower but you can see here hopefully in fact if I just take this in just so you can see right now you'll notice it says GMA okay that's the crucial thing this is the Intel GMA driver right Michael's been saying to me yeah well you can do this video I said, yeah yeah but I've got to get it right Michael you know I mean I'm um, going off the last bit, yes, uh, 18 months I've been working this and I kept quiet about it, uh, um, but it's fantastic, uh, I'm sorry, it's just absolutely amazing. Now the, the screen drop in the background actually, that, that's actually a 1280 by 1024 image, that's why it looks weird, I haven't actually put a, because I don't normally use this monitor, but I wanted to show it because of the, the big videos. So let me cancel that. Now what I'm going to do now, let's get straight into this, okay? What is it good at? Now you saw the Omega Pro, and everyone's been saying to me, put me a little bit less Omega Pro, a bit more the Atom. Well, here's the thing. It, it, the, without this driver, the Atom was really handicapped because it was using the Atom processor to do all the visa, the visa work, okay? And people were impressed with the Pro. That 3 gigahertz processor. This is an Atom processor. 1.6 and only one core. Yeah? We're only using one core at the moment. At the moment. Right, so first thing, let's load up a, a video. Um, I'm going to load up a fairly good one. I've got, I'm going to load up three different ones here. And uh, let's see Buck Bunny. All right, let's put Buck Bunny down here. Right, now this is an 800 by 480. Okay, let me turn the volume up. Hang on. Not too loud, though. Right, that's one. 800 by that. Now that looks... Uh, Pretty nice, I think. Right, so I'm going to now load up another one. I know you're going to say, well, what are you doing this for? But remember, this is Atom. I'm trying to show you the screen driver to show you how good it is. Okay, so we'll load up another one. Um, this one, let's see, Pipes of Silicon Valley. <laughs> it does make me laugh, this video. Okay, and skip forward. Now, remember, it's got the audio drive that we've got written. The HD audio driver it has multiple channels, so you can play all the sound. Okay, and now you notice how smooth they are. Okay. Let's load up another one. Okay, media. Uh, which which was the one I had? Oh, here we go. Future armor. Everybody likes future armor. Okay. Now, three videos. Okay. Uh, that's about 600 by 300. That's about 650 by 500. I think it is. And that's 800 by 480p. Okay. Now. That's not too bad, is it? Do you think, I mean, that, does that mean the driver's quite good, right? That, the, this driver is stunning, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to show you now, we've got three videos running, right? Now, this is something I used to have problems with. If I wanted to run the Amiga, the uh, emulation Janus side of things, I'm just going to run it in the Windows of the thing, yeah? We've got coherence, I'm not showing you coherence on this video, I just want to show you performance of the video. Look, I'm running the emulator now, and those three videos, okay? Okay, right, there comes the emulator, now you think, well, uh, that's not too bad, <laughs> I'm running three videos here, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pause these for a second, okay, pause, pause, okay, right, now here's my emulator, now, the interesting thing is, okay, let me just run a program, now the, the emulator's running a lot quicker, 
a lot quicker. Right? The drivers have made such a difference to this whole machine. Again, I'm going to say it again. It's an atom. It is stunning. Now, let's run TV. Now, TV paint on an atom was crippled. Okay? Let me whack this up to 1280 by 1024. Okay? <coughs> now, did we use to run slowly, but no, do you know what? Check this out. Okay, let's grab a bit of her. How about that? Yeah? How about that? Right, now this is an atom, okay? It's, I mean, no, I, I can go back over here, turn these on, come back here, carry on working. Yeah? I've said it before, this is an atom. I know I'm going to bang on about this, but people are saying, oh, the atom's not much good. This screen drive has made a huge difference. You see that? Right. Um, let me pause these again. Okay, and I'll quit this. It's made such a difference. Um, we've obviously got sound, so I can play sound from Amiga Amp. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Now. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit clicky, but it, it works. Yeah, um, it's nothing to do with the performance of the processor either. It's just, it's just in the um, system. But remember, Jana Seven um, Zero Seven is uh, pretty good. It's, um, but it's, it's not finished yet. So there's still some work to be done. I will do a separate video to show you coherence again. Coherence actually works quite well on there, but it's, some applications don't load properly and the screen doesn't work properly. So uh, hence the reason for doing this. But look, so. I'm, again, I'm only showing you the drivers here. Oh, hang on, I stopped them. Look. How's that? All right, what can I say? Thanks very much. Toodaloo. Hi guys, just one more thing. Um, just going to add uh, very quickly, just to show you on the, my 1280 10 display. Um, this is video I showed you earlier on. I just want to see so that you can, so you can tell we can go full screen. Yeah nice and smooth it's not all about just running three or four videos it's about watching one and enjoying it okay so that works well so that would be good for Broadway um, let's shut that down and load up OWB and let's load up something that's um, BBC homepage this is quite a serious old site okay now let's scale this quite big and then you can see how smooth this is yeah I hope you can make out that it's really smooth. A lot of it is to do with the fact that um, Smicky uh, really smoothed the thing out, but the drivers have really improved this. So there's OWB. Um, another thing which some of you haven't seen, but this is which I use quite a lot, um, it's called the RDP, which is Remote Desktop. I'm going to open this up and there's set sound and start. Now this is basically running a virtual machine. You can hear that Windows. I've got a virtual Windows machine on my other computer. Uh, let's get rid of that, don't need that. Um, to show you what's possible. Now, uh, I'm just going to load YouTube. Now, guess what? You notice that? Google Chrome. So you can rent yourself, uh, you know, you can have yourself a virtual machine and run that through remote desktop. Um, let's load something you might recognize. Okay. Let's have this uh, skip forward a little bit. There we go. Yeah, uh, not much moving about there, is there? Yeah, there you go. So you can see that works. So that's going through remote desktop. Let's shut that down. Uh, close down remote desktop. Exit. And one more thing. One thing is really interesting is the fact that the um, SDL, um, uh, the multimedia software graphics layer, it's really been sped up. Um, so whereas uh, on the beta drivers, the sorry, that's the wrong one. The games didn't necessarily play at full speed. Now, I mean, they, they in some cases they're a little bit too fast for me. Let's, um, oh no, I'll leave that in a minute. Hang on, let's go. Where's the games? Here's the games. And again, I you know I don't play games, but um, this is the one I do like. And again, I'm rubbish. Okay, so hit that. On there. Watch how fast this goes. Ooh. Am I going? Uh, you have to take my word for it. This is actually a lot faster. Now. Uh, okay. Yeah, absolutely right. 
Um, and finally, let's have a quick boing ball. There we go. So 3D again. You've got 3D in here. Like that full screen. Um, so, driver. Uh, I think it's amazing. I don't know. Make your own mind up. But thanks a lot. And Tulu.